Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Next Generation Mechanic. Because I explained the Boeing 787 main landing gear already in my previous video, today we are going to talk about the main landing gear on the Boeing 737 MAX. Here we have an overall view of the main landing gear. Let's start with the front of the gear. This is the shimmy damper. If we move down, we see an electrical harness and the brake assemblies. If we move up a bit, we see the two junction boxes on the front of the gear. This is where all the electrical connections are bundled into one harness to the landing gear components computers. If we look up from the left side of the gear, you see the retract actuator and the attachment fitting. If we look to the right, we see the side strut and the reaction link with the down lock mechanism. Here we also see a proximity sensor, but I will explain that later in the video. This roller is the uplock roller. It hooks into the uplock hook. Let's look at the gear swing cycle after a gear replacement with all the panels removed. If you walk to the back of the main landing gear, we have a proper view of the hydraulic brakes and shock strut. This is the fixed main landing gear door. As you may have noticed, 737 doesn't have retractable landing gear doors. That's why there is a hubcap installed on the outer wheels of the main landing gear to optimize aerodynamics. This is a proximity sensor for the air ground system. If the airplane is on the ground, the metal plate or target below it is near. This means that the target is in front of the sensor. If the target is far, the target is not near the sensor anymore and this means the airplane is in the air. This is how the airplane knows that it is on the ground or in the air. On the main landing gear there are more proximity sensors. This one is from the down lock mechanism. Here the same logic applies. If the gear is down and locked, the target is near the sensor. If we look to the uplock hook, you also see the proximity switches and targets. As you can see, the target is far. This isn't strange because the gear is not in the up and locked position. With all this information, the proximity switch computer can see the position of the gear and tell to the flight crew if the gear is up and locked or down and locked. Thank you for watching and see you next time. 